Okay, I thought this would be like really interesting to figure out about how much people got paid for a crime clips for a torture, basically. Yeah, you think I don't know? I do. I I am going to give you exactly the quote. Those of you who tortured, how much money you earned and how exactly you earned the money. For that purpose, I am going to use the Royals, the British, the Buckingham Palace was the one that gave you the cash. They gave the cash to use the people literally like Andrew Ted in, in this case to distribute cash. Uh, let me see how much Macedonians earned with a crime against me during Andrew Tete's stay in Macedonia, which eventually he used to promote himself for his final trip to Romania, where he was actually sent whatever you want to say this for espionage purposes by the British that's what it more looked like um hmm there's a whole lot I know about Andrew Tate 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 um or even as a police um, thing. Andrew Tate did some work also for the police on the side. And he was involved with the police all along. So uh, definitely with the British Royals since 2004, it's how it all started with his trips. He took to Slovenia. For him, that's how it all starts. His parents were involved in this since 1995. Let me demonstrate to you, however, how much you earned with the torture. We're here to kill your friend. I'll tell you a very quick one. I was in Macedonia, a tournament, and me and my friend, we were out one night, and we were talking to these two Macedonian chicks, and these little, this little dude started running his mouth to my friend, and my friend, who's a fighter as well, threw him over a table. Before he even got up, I grabbed We're here to kill your friend. I'll tell you a very quick one. I was in Macedonia, a tournament, and me and my friend, we were out one night, and we were talking to these two Macedonian chicks, and these little, this little dude started running his mouth to my friend, and my friend, who's a fighter as well, threw him over a table. Before he even got up, I grabbed my guy and we got the club. I said, look, bro, we're in Macedonia. We don't know who's who around Can you stop Let's fucking see. around? <laughs> Next morning, I'm having my breakfast. These two dudes come over to me, and they said, oh, hello. I was like, hello. He goes, we're here to kill your friend. It's exactly what you'd imagine, like, from a movie. What was actually scary about it is how calm they were and how much knowledge they knew. Because they knew the whole situation. They go, we've seen the camera. You did not do anything. It wasn't you. But your friend threw my cousin, and we were here to kill your friend. We know you two are together, so you need to tell us his room, or we're going to kill you two. I'm eating eggs. You know, I'm just kind of like, well, I'll text him. But one thing you do to learn a fighting is a poker face. So I was also yeah. trying my very best to be uninterested. Do you know what I mean? I was very much like, oh, I'll text him. Yeah. One second. I texted him, Kieran, Kieran. He's like, what? I said, there's two guys here said they're here to kill you. And he replies, LOL. I'm like, no, not LOL. <laughs> there's these dudes who are here to kill you legit. The owner of this tournament, the organizer of this tournament was a Dutch guy. Man, this whole tournament was bullshit. He was moving cocaine from Albania to, to Holland. Yeah. So he was connected big time with the Macedonians. So when he came down, I went over to him and said, look, these two dudes are here to kill Kieran because of what happened last night. Da, da, da. He called his Macedonian guy and his Macedonian guy came and they all sat around the table and they had this big this big discussion with Macedonian. In the meantime, Kieran's worked out his reel and is sitting in his room texting me every three minutes. Are they still there? They're still there. They're shit himself. And I think they gave him like eight or nine thousand dollars and they left. And then afterwards, Kieran. Um, I only care about this part here. This, this part. That's all I care, because this is what this video is about. Eight or nine thousand dollars. That's a lot of difference. Thousand dollars in Macedonia. That makes a whole a lot of difference. Money wise. Uh, when concerned, the unemployment rate, which is astronomically high, and back then was even worse. Now, what exactly happened with Andrew Tete? Andrew Tete promoted himself literally also through the violence against me. So he took me on a trip, really have employed some Macedonian unemployed guys. These are no mafia, these are no gangsters. Or none of that. He employed them. He gave them a job. 
he gave me the opportunity to torture, basically to take further from where he left off because he was busy at the bar or whatever he was doing also. He was doing a training and stuff, don't get me wrong. Um, so he had a wonderful life, night life too. And, and meanwhile, I was entertained by these local guys, unemployed guys, with how would I express myself? Basically just having life ruined, whacked, tortured, death threatened, to the degree that I eventually was the one who asked Andrew Tete to please let me free so I can go and I can murder these people. So I can go out there and so that I can kill these people, these guys, myself. I asked him if he can do it. He couldn't have done it. I said, can you please do me a favor and just let me free so I can kill these motherfuckers, Macedonians. I'll do it myself. And so this is how his story was born about Macedonian mafia. This is a story he needed on his way to Romania per literally British government. That's how that went. Um, eight, nine thousand dollars. How many guys was three that he employed? Yeah, it was. We have to figure out how we're going to make money. And the idea about we have to figure out how we're going to make money was born in front of me with the guys that were in front of me. Uh, after I already inquired about opportunity to get these people killed myself. Uh, that's when Andrew Tate, everything was again nice, everything was calm, everything was normal. This is how the British crime went on for no less now than 29 years. Eight to nine thousand dollars for about a week of torture, three guys. 